If you're talking about three-dimensional solid, that's a sphere, you can calculate its volume using the formula V equals four-thirds pi times the radius cubed. Now a couple things about this formula. Most geometry classes won't make you prove it, so I'm not going to get into that derivation. Second key thing about this is notice how many variables are used in this formula. One. The only thing you need to know in order to calculate the volume of a sphere is its radius. So let's look at a quick example about how we could use that formula. Here we have a sphere and we're being asked to find its volume. Now notice that what they give you is not a radius but a diameter. So we're going to start off by writing our formula. Volume equals 4 thirds pi times your radius cubed. Now something that you should notice is that we have r to the third, which reminds you that we are talking about volume and not a surface area. So we said that r is going to be half of 12, since 12 is our diameter. So volume equals 4 thirds times pi times 6 cubed. Now 6 cubed, if I use my calculator, is 216. So I'm going to say volume is equal to 4 thirds pi times 216. I'm going to multiply 4 thirds by 216 on my calculator. I should end up with some number larger than 216, and I do. So volume is equal to 288 pi, and then we have to write in our units, cubic centimeters. So there's only one dimension that you need to know in order to calculate the volume of a sphere, and that is your radius. In this problem, we had to divide 12 in half because that was a, a diameter, so we could substitute and find our volume.